I'm going to choose 47 here. Welcome back to Luigi's Mansion 3. I'm walking, um, yeah, kind of faith, just looking at the map. There's a map. I'm going to just fall off the side. I can't either. Okay. As it turns out, I can't either, so we're gonna have to <laughs> walkie walkie. Oh, there's a refrigerator down here. Gross. This place has been full of sewer water. No thank you. That's horrifying, you know? I'm coming. Why can't we see over here? Let me find What ifs? What ifs, indeed. Oh. Kind of gooed up. 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 <laughs> oh yes, that's right. I think this is the first time I've ever sung Hanson on on the channel. My sister, as a, as as we were kind of growing up during that era, was borderline obsessed with them for, you know, during, at least during the peak times. I don't know if she was afterwards, but... Where do we get towed from? Well, we don't get towed till later, my dear. Where are we going? Now we're going to the elevator. Yeah. Is this through here? Yeah. If you remember, Toad gets, like, sent by EGAD to get something. Oh, right. And then he, he, like, Hides. He has to hide down here. Yay. Did you see that? Yeah. I glitched and fell through the back of the elevator. That is hilarious. Ugh. Are you going to 10? Yes, my dear, yes we are. And we can't get the rest of the gems on floor B2 because, rude, because we are, uh, we need Toad. No, no. <laughs> Can you like? <gasps> this is it. Is it? Oh yes. It sounds like it is. Sounds like it is. <laughs> oh, oh, it's the trap. It's the trap. Okay. You stay right here because as long as the pressure point or the pressure plate stays down, it doesn't trigger again. You know? Oh, well, there we go. Sorry. Okay, let's stay here. See, this is uh, attachable. Very good. Cool. Oh wait. Okay. Okay. Would you move? No. <laughs> Secret money. Secret money. Destroy the all the cushions. Oh my gosh. Proceed with the feet down. Nice. Oh my dear. I know, I'm just getting a 
I shall. Trip, trip myself up. Yes, I am ready. Sand! Oh, before we do anything, hang on, let's go this way. Okay. Welcome. Start sucking it all up. Yeah. Welcome to the ASMR portion of Luigi's Mansion 3. <laughs> Why don't you just, uh. Almost. Just need a little bit more, baby. There you go. And now we can just work over here. Yes. This is like the most satisfying thing ever. Oh, I love this so much. Yes. Yes, please. Yes. I like going in, 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 you know. Wide swaths. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. This part always makes me sleepy because I'm so used to, like, ASMR making me sleepy. Well, if you get sleepy, I will legit smack you. <laughs> you know I will. Yeah, well. Prepare to be smacked, to be smacked indeed, yeah. yeah. Yes. No, it's still a pile. Okay. Uh, okay. Wakey, wakey. Wakey. Make you cook dinner tonight. Okay. That's fine. Oh, this is so satisfying. Yes. Especially if it gets here. Ah, oh, that is. Cheryl, you better wake up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, you just enjoy this so much. I'll just I'll just go back into the the backpack and then you know you can do do with the vacuuming. Now the purpose of this sand is you know, just to hide a couple of little collectibles and the, the boo, the boo ball. <laughs> <laughs> you can't keep a straight face on that one, could you? Ah, uh, that's very funny. What I like to do is push the sand in such a way. Sorry, I'm kind of getting ahead of you for purpose, you know. I like to make a big old mound of sand so that Melanie has more fun vacuuming it up. You know. And it's just fun to make gigantic piles of sand. <laughs> I 
it's just it's it's so satisfying it's like one of those they make these little trays that you can get for like a desk like a kinetic sand and it's like a zen is it it's like a zen sand oh, thing yeah. and it has this little rake that, that, that it comes with and usually stones for placing in the sand Ha ha! Do now. Wow, this is like deep sand over here. Goodness. Okay, sorry, dear. How dare. You take care of this. As soon as I see him, I'll get him. dare you. Rude. Rude. I think we've done this in, on other playthroughs just about every time we come back to this floor. Mm -hmm. Because it's so much fun. Oh yes. I love this part of seeing the. Oh yeah, you want to go and do that? Oh. Oh no. I'll see if it'll work. Trying to... Nope, you were just asleep. I thought. I was. Okay. Oh, there it is. Did you get it? <gasps> you got it. Hop to the beach ball. Nice. We thought at first that that was where the boo was, but it's just it's just for coin, you know. Yep. Oh, it is. My hands are freezing right now. Go under the blanket. I don't have to look at the, the controller when you play. Some people do. Like to, like glance at it every every so often or whatever. The only thing I don't like about this part. As satisfying as it is, man, my fingers and my hand goes to sleep after a while. I can see that. Haha. -ha. You're on the struggle bus, dearie. I am. It's okay. We're fine. It's no different than any other night, right? That's right. skip this video, I mean you can, or just fast forward through it, or skip yeah. through it, this it's, is mostly just going to be us sucking up the sand, because it's so amazing. It is. It's so fun. This is our jam. Maybe we can do, like, Would You Rather, while we're doing this. Would You Rather? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, for example, Would You Rather... Uh, would You Rather Interact With... Let's see, what are, 
there are some like iconic ones like would you rather uh, have an elephant sized horse or a horse sized elephant horse sized elephant yeah so I can keep it yeah like that's 100% no questions about that yeah because elephants are my thing love using elephants I saw, I, I think this was a TikTok, but before it was on TikTok, it was a meme of, uh, this guy is presented with, ow, what? That thing killed me. Um, he's presented with a button, and it's, if you push this button, you get billion dollars, but someone you don't know dies. And he like immediately pushes the button. He says, can I do it more than once? <laughs> Terrible. A very interesting morality aspect, you know? Get him. It always like shuts off my vacuum when you're, you're spewing out the money. Yeah, same here. We're gonna leave this snake for last, okay? Sure. Because I always, like, given that option, I don't know what I would do. Well, maybe not. You know? What? What if, is it? I wasn't listening. <laughs> I was stuck in that safety. Okay. Let's say that you're brought into a room. Mm -hmm. Right? And there's like a briefcase, right? Mm -hmm. And in the briefcase is a billion dollars. Right? And all you have to do to get it is push the button with the knowledge that when you do so, a random person that you do not know dies. That's horrible. Do you push the button? No. No life is worth that. No, I would not push the button. No? No, not at all. There's a lot of interesting... No, I wouldn't push the button because you don't know. Every. So. No. Yeah. Nope. I wouldn't push the button. I don't think I would either. Although. Because that means that somebody could push the button for you. That's a fair point. Assuming that this button is, is more widely accessible. That's fair. I'm thinking that you could use a billion dollars to save a lot more people than one, but it's not necessarily. Is that saying that one life isn't worth it? One life is worth losing. To save many, many more. I'm just saying. Well, I mean, it's just certainly an interesting moral quandary, you know. I, you know. On the other end of that spectrum, so to speak, uh, if I knew, uh, for for example, in The Last of Us, Joel refuses to let the doctors kill Ellie to get the cure for the zombie virus, right? His thought is that because he 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 he'd been traveling with her for a long long time right uh, and he just he didn't want her to die even though her death would have saved literally millions of people right 
the thing is, she was never given a, a, ch a choice in this, right? Like, if I knew that my death would save a million people, sure. You know? Go for it. Because sometimes the needs of the many outweighs the needs of the few. Yes! Get him! You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, that, that button sort of quandary does not present choice to the random person. And therefore is a little bit sketchier, so to speak. <laughs> Which, uh, which, this is an interesting question, I think, too. Which, uh, unrelated to what we were talking about before, which world would you want to live in, my dear? Which world? Like, you know, there's Middle Earth, there's, you know, the Wizarding World. Yeah. Can we get on the sand? I think so. I think we're finally sand free, or for the vast majority of it, anyway. What about you, Middle Earth? Oh, it's tough. I think I'm with you on the Wizarding World because, uh, you know, you get into. There are just so many different applications. The only thing that I would have as a caveat to being in the wizarding world is that I am a wizard. Yes. Yes, I agree with that. Because, my goodness, you could make some bank as a wizard. I mean, just think about the repair of spell. You know? Like, oh, you could set up an appliance repair thing and just be, you know, just be rolling in it. Because it'd take you two seconds to fix appliances. But if that's a spell that everybody knows in the wow. wizarding world, why wow. would you need to open up a shop for that? Because then you wouldn't have it. Well, you don't open the shop in the wizarding world. Mm. You open the shop in the muggle world. Mm. You know? <laughs> oh, this part's fun. <laughs> Yad. Yellow. Yellow. Okay. Do you want to? Yeah, let's go. Go ahead and, and kill the old spiders. But like, do you want to uh, <laughs> do this on the next video? We're at 24 minutes, I think. Okay. Okay. Until next Funny. time. Okay. Until next time, but we'll be tuning up. See you next video. All right.